I want to share with you. You know, we go to John, our benediction in Jude. And we kind of skip over John. But I saw a verse in John. And the part that leads up to it, you have it. It, it, it kind of, if you stop, see, we get to shout, and we forget a lot of things. But let, let me go back in this. Go with me back there to James chapter 4, verses 3 through 8. But I'm going to just share a couple of verses there. Verse number 6 says, But he give more grace. Well, let me go back up to 5. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us, lust is to envy. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, envy. And he will do what? And then down there, there are eight verses, what I got. What did it say? Draw now, what? And he will what? Draw now to you. Then he says, cleanse your hands, ye what? And purify your what? Heart. You double-minded. Y'all got something you can go through when you get ready? Need some reading? I didn't write a book. I just give you a little few things, Lord, laid on my heart to just share with you. First John 5 and 15 says, The man departed and told the Jews, that it was Jesus which had made him whole. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who made him whole. I try to go quickly through this. Let the Lord have his way. And there's much more to this message. There's much more in it. But I felt like that the Lord could give you something. Because sometimes when the preacher read his scripture, everybody don't have a Bible. And uh, don't read the scripture with him. But if I do it like this here, y'all can read along. That's how we came along. Because they read along. They, we had to read along. And one of the things that I'm uh, glad about today, I'm glad about today, the Lord has blessed us and allowed us to increase, to move forward, and open doors that we can get the tools that we need down here to represent him up there. Because sometimes we are earnestly desirous and we are doing what we think that needs to be done and it's being done in the wrong manner. That's why in 2013, as you seek the Lord, seek him with a pure heart. Learn to get the training that you need in order to represent. And most of all, 
take an inventory of self, of me. Do I need to draw closer to the Lord in my everyday walk with him? What is it on the inside that I need to example myself and say, Lord, cleanse me, strengthen me, deliver me, give me courage. I, I don't know if you really realize it, but there are times in our lives we need courage. And there are times when we need to encourage ourselves. The Lord had to kind of whoop me about a week ago or two weeks ago. I was getting down in the, what, you, what, what, what you call it, the, the pity path. When you start pitying yourself, pity path. I was, I, I was getting down there. I was getting down there. And I, just, I was ready, water coming out of my eyes. I was ready to go down there. And the Lord just hit me. He said, you could have been gone in World War II. But I took care of you. You could have been gone in either of the three times you went to Korea. But I took care of you. And the worst year in your life in Vietnam, I took care of you. So now what you up here trying to get all upset for and down? If I took care of you through that, don't you know I'm going to take care of you now? And that's why it's important to make sure that in your everyday life that you seek the Lord. Yes. And above all, not begging the Lord, but giving him praise. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. <laughs> giving him praise for what he's already done. Give him praise for what he's going to do for you yeah. in 13. Yeah. Give him the glory. Yeah. Give him the praise. Yeah. Give him the honor. Yeah. I want to close with a pastoral prayer. If you would join me at the altar to desire you, just as desire, just as join me at the altar. I want to close this little thought that the Lord allowed us to share with you. There may be a special need that you need the Lord to intercede for you. There may be some special strength that you need from the Lord. But approach the altar and be able to talk to him for yourself with one accord. Lord, we all are here at the altar, and we're going to talk to you for ourselves, but we are in unison. We're in prayer. And that little song comes, Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. He will hear. He'll answer. Oh. And a little fire. Oh, just a. One more time. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all. Oh, he'll hear us. Oh, uh, he'll answer. Oh. And we know 
There's another little song that says it. And see, some of us was not there at the time that these songs were written. But some of us were when they were brought to our attention and we sung them sometime out of distress. I need oh. Oh. the oh. I need the every hour I oh Lord my Savior I come oh yes oh yes Now, now, let me just pause there for a second. It doesn't matter what happened, but you still need the Lord. And I'm telling him for myself. Not my sister, not my brother, not my mama, mama, but for me, oh Lord. I need some prayer. I need some help. And I need you to intercede for me. I need the oh oh come on and let it out let it out I yes yes yeah I oh bless 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 me now while I'm at the altar my savior Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Mm. You know, sometimes we just need to moan while we are at the altar. Can't find words, and we don't need to say a whole lot of words. Sometimes we just need to moan. Mm. Woo. Mm. Mm. Because he knows what we need before we ask him. But here we are. Sometimes we can't find the words. So Lord, we just moan. And then after a while we say, trouble in my way. Have to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. shared with him that trouble sometimes in our way. But we know he'll fix it. But the key is only believe. Only believe. All things are possible. If you'll only believe, only oh, believe. Oh yes, Lord, we believe. Only oh, believe, Lord, we know we believe today. 
Say that just one more time. I feel the spirit of the Lord dwelling within us. Oh, baby. Oh. 